All right, our next speaker is Jipeng Huang from Huawei. He is the operations, uh, open source operations manager, and he's going to speak to us about RISC-V and cloud computing. And while he's getting set up real quick, I just want to point out, we've got the dinner that I mentioned earlier for those that weren't here. The, mem the dinner that we're having tonight is not strictly for Risk v Foundation members. That's open to everyone. So you know, we want to make sure everybody comes to that dinner. So, and as mentioned, we'll have escorts directing us after the events th this afternoon. So without further ado. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can everyone hear me? Okay. Uh, I know I'm the last guy standing between you and lunch, so I promise I'll be quick. And also, there's, uh, this will be a high-level, non-technical, uh, probably the weirdest uh, talk you will uh, experience uh, in the workshop. So um, I'm leading an open source team in Huawei. Uh, mostly, we are doing uh, open source cloud computing infrastructure. So um, this talk will be about how to enable like risk five based accelerators in cloud computing. So we are, will not cover like risk five CPUs or uh, in the IoT scenario. Okay. So um, domain specific accelerators is definitely becoming a inevitable trend, and also cloud computing is everywhere. Basically, you now you uh, offer anything through a cloud. So we are seeing like AWS F1 instance uh, offers FPGA instance, or uh, Azure uh, has the Catabolt infrastructure, which uh, heavily utilizes FPGA to power the cloud. And also open source in prime time. So now basically you can build a open source uh, cloud infrastructure from ground up uh, if you have like capable developers. So everything looks Sunny? Uh, it's actually not. So during our development, we found that there is a like big problem that uh, for hardware developers, the, 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 the concept of software ecosystem rarely reach beyond the device SDK. And application developers uh, barely like care about the hardware and you leave the cloud infrastructure developers, uh, especially open source, a cloud infrastructure developers in the middle that uh, have no clue how to support all these type of new things. So just give you a sense, we just had the biggest ever KubeCon in Barcelona. Um, you can see the number. Uh, Accelerator is definitely not on the radar at the moment. So that really bothers me. So uh, there are a lot of open source RISC-5 uh, RISC based accelerators. For example, the FireSim project uh, is an awesome project. Uh, you can, uh, this is a slide actually that copied from their talk uh, this year about like provide the uh, NVDLA uh, through the FireSim. Also you have, for example, open accelerity. So I think what RISC-5 uh, the, the most important thing is that with a open source um, instruction set, you can actually build a pipeline that is best fit for your uh, application. For example, if you want to try new things like graph uh, neural network, uh, probably you will be able to use RISC Five to write a awesome uh, ASIC for that. So. How do we support uh, RISC V based accelerators in open source cloud computing? Um, in OpenStack, uh, we are leading and uh, developing a project called Cyborg, uh, which is providing a general management framework for all kinds of accelerators, FPGA, GPU, uh, you name it. And also in Kubernetes, we are also brainstorming um, with Intel and NVIDIA to also have a similar project that can provide this uh, general management framework. And from development, uh, one thing is very interesting for us is that the most thing we cared about for the schedulers of the orchestration is actually the metadata. 
And all of the metadata uh, you see on the right-hand side, the most important thing is topology. So like GPU topology or FPG uh, topology, this is very important like information we need to get from the accelerators to make uh, the scheduler to, to schedule the workload to the most uh, appropriate node. So basically, uh, we really want to make RISO-5 uh, based accelerator a first cost citizen. And uh, so in a nutshell, uh, we need uh, hardware experts like you guys uh, that help uh, work with us and defining like what kind of capabilities a RISC-V core based accelerator can report to the cloud orchestration platform. Um, you'll be amazed uh, how much information um, that the cloud orchestration can actually utilize. For example, in Kubernetes like uh, topology, I just talked about uh, Intel, de Intel developers also talk about like socket closeness, also affinity, power, there is like an uh, unlimited thing that we can uh, extract from the accelerator and uh, for the cloud uh, orchestration platform. So this is actually uh, came out uh, from my, my conversation with the Rumbus uh, developers at the OpenCAPI booth uh, in the OCP summit uh, back in March. So they uh, demonstrate there's a big red cable and uh, we talked about how um, basically we want to uh, expose as little as possible for the application so that the application don't feel the underlying change. However, the latter point is really uh, mentioned is that for cloud, you actually need to provide as much information as possible because we need to schedule the workload to the most uh, uh, appropriate node. So this year, I'm also starting a, 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 a really lean uh, open source like, uh, like a dialogue uh, because I, found, I find that uh, I need to like talk to different people and bring them together actually to, to, to help with the uh, acceleration support. Um, so this idea I actually uh, uh, also discussed with Kalisa, I think when she was three days into the job. Uh, we, we will touch upon uh, all the related uh, foundations, but uh, the efforts itself is pretty lightweight because we have all the foundations uh, covered. So to give you an example, for example, uh, for edge computing, you have a use case that you can use Kubernetes to uh, utilize the Linux boot or core boot for uh, uh, like automated provisioning of resources onto a OCP OAI compliant uh, accelerator cluster with the probably core five uh, cores that are written in RISC five <laughs> instruction set. So. This like example tells you like how much we can leverage open source project to build a full stack reference implementation. So uh, if we have like similar use case or just interesting ideas, uh, you can submit. So uh, we will formalize that as a formula, and through the discussion of formula, we'll identify if there's a gap in the upstream community. We'll go to the upstream community, do the work. Uh, if not, uh, there is a process called uh, HCIP, uh, similar to the PEP or BIP process, that uh, probably we can try to standardize some of the uh, things that we find uh, is valuable. So, um, Sentis System Summit, I will be there. Uh, if you can uh, drive a car there, so uh, I think uh, we can have like a lot of uh, a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, and also uh, we will have the first co-located event uh, during the OSS China. Um, actually, for that uh, we ex experiments with like using GitHub issue for CFP. Uh, it's pretty awesome, I think. The open uh, transparency and basically peer-reviewed uh, CFP process.
Okay, so feel free to reach out to me, and we really need hardware expert to help uh, bring RISC-V based accelerators as a first class citizen for the uh, cloud infrastructure. And yep, thank you. All right, do we have any questions? 